Under Mothatug Curriculum Grade 7, Agriculture and Fishery Arts. Lesson 3, Agricultural Hazards and Risks in Farm Operations. Here is the content standard. Demonstrate an understanding of the concepts and skills in agricrops and animal production. Learning competencies. Discuss hazards and risks in farm operations. Learning objectives. Define and differentiate between hazards and risks. Identify common agricultural hazards and risks found in farm operations. Describe safety measures to mitigate these hazards and risks. Apply their understanding by suggesting ways to minimize hazards in farm scenarios. Our topic for this lesson is the different agricultural hazards and risks in farm operations. What do you think is the most challenging part of being a farmer? How does farming affect the environment? How would life be different if farming did not exist? How do changes in the weather or climate affect farming? Can you name any tools or machines that have made farming easier? Welcome, Grade 7 students. Today in Tea Alley, we are going to explore an important topic in agriculture, risks, and hazards in farm operations. Farms are full of exciting activities, from planting crops to raising animals, but they also come with certain dangers. Learning about hazards and risk will help us understand how to stay safe on farms and protect both ourselves and others while working around equipment, plants, and animals. Let us learn how farmers keep their work safe and productive. First, what is hazard? A hazard is something that can cause harm or danger. It could be anything like a sharp tool, a slippery floor, or a chemical. Think of it as something that might hurt you if you're not careful. How about risk? A risk is the chance or possibility that something bad could happen because of the hazard. For example, if there is a sharp knife on the table, the risk is that someone might accidentally cut themselves. Here are the four main types of hazards commonly found in farm operations. Physical hazards in agriculture are dangers that come from physical objects, equipment, or environmental conditions on a farm. These hazards can lead to injuries if not properly managed. Machinery and equipment, tractors, harvesters, and other large farm machinery can cause injuries if they are not operated safely. Moving parts, sharp edges, and heavy equipment pose significant risks. Sharp tools, hand tools like knives, sickles, and pruning shears can cause cuts or punctures if handled carelessly. Heavy lifting, carrying heavy objects, such as sacks of seeds, bales of hay, or large buckets, can lead to back injuries or muscle strain. Noise, loud sounds from machinery, especially tractors and other equipment, can damage hearing over time. 
So better get some earplugs ready. Extreme temperature. Working in very hot or very cold conditions can lead to health issues like heat stroke, dehydration, or hypothermia. Slippery or uneven surfaces, muddy fields, wet floors, or uneven ground can cause slips, trips, and falls. Chemical hazards in agriculture are dangers posed by chemicals used on farms that can be harmful, if not handled properly. These chemicals are often necessary for farm operations but can pose risks to health and the environment. Examples of chemical hazard, pesticide, used to control pests and insects, pesticides can be harmful to humans if inhaled, ingested, or if they come into contact with the skin. Long-term exposure can lead to serious health issues. Herbicide, these chemicals help control weeds, but direct contact or inhalation can cause skin irritation, respiratory problems, and other health concerns. Fertilizers, while fertilizers help plants grow, some contain chemicals that can be dangerous if mishandled, leading to chemical burns, poisoning, or water contamination. Disinfectants, used to clean animal housing, equipment, or storage areas. These chemicals can be toxic if inhaled or ingested and can cause skin irritation. Fuel and lubricants, gasoline, diesel, and oils for machinery are common on farms and can be harmful if spilled, inhaled, or accidentally ignited. Animal medications. Some animal treatments contain chemicals that can be dangerous if humans are exposed to them, especially in large doses or without proper protective equipment. Biological hazards in agriculture come from living things like plants, animals, or germs that can cause illness or harm to people working on farms. Examples of biological hazard, bacteria and viruses. These germs can be found in animal waste, dirty water, or on plants and can make people sick if they get into cuts, food, or water. Molds and fungi can grow on crops, feed, or damp surfaces and can cause allergic reactions or breathing problems, especially when their spores are inhaled. Animals on the farm like cows, chickens, or pigs can carry diseases that spread to people called zoonotic diseases. Even animals' bites or scratches can lead to infections. Insects like ticks, mosquitoes, and flies can carry diseases that they may pass on to people through bites. Some plants have thorns or sap that can cause skin irritation or allergic reactions. These are some of the biological hazards farm may encounter. Environmental hazards in agriculture are dangers that come from natural conditions or the environment that can impact the health and safety of farm workers and the productivity of the farm. Storms, heavy rain, hail, or droughts can harm crops, livestock, and farm equipment. High winds and lightning during storms can also be dangerous to workers. Working long hours under direct sunlight can lead to heat exhaustion, dehydration, or even heat stroke. Prolonged sun exposure can also cause sunburn and increase the risk of skin cancer. In colder climates, or seasons, exposure to low temperatures can cause frostbite or hypothermia, making it dangerous to work outside without proper clothing. Dust from soil, feed, or grains can cause respiratory issues, especially for workers with asthma or allergies. Inhaling too much dust over time can lead to lung problems. Heavy rains or poor drainage can lead to flooding, which can destroy crops, 
contaminate water supplies, and create unsafe working conditions. Lastly, farm areas near forests or open land may have encounters with wild animals, which can be harmful to people and livestock. These are the safety measures for managing physical hazards. Please read carefully and understand each measure to ensure your protection from these types of hazards on the farm. These are the safety measures for handling chemical hazards. Please read each measure carefully to understand how to protect yourself from exposure to hazardous chemicals on the farm. These are the safety measures for managing biological hazards. Please read each guideline carefully to understand how to protect yourself from harmful organisms and biological risks on the farm. These are the safety measures for dealing with environmental hazards. Please read each guideline carefully to understand how to protect yourself from environmental risk, such as extreme weather conditions on the farm. Good hygiene and safety practices on the farm include regular hand washing, wearing protective clothing, and proper equipment handling. Keeping areas clean and maintaining tools help prevent accidents and reduce health risks. Providing a first aid kit and basic first aid training is essential for farm safety. This ensures immediate care for injuries and equips everyone to respond effectively in emergencies. Let's have some recap. Review the types of hazards and some common safety measures. A reflection question for the students. Why is it important to know about hazards and risks on the farm? Encourage a few students to share their thoughts.